Hello! Today we are going to look at making pre-recorded videos with an activity and a dynamic display AAC system for modeling or aided language stimulation. So I really like to make these videos, if I'm sharing two different screens, I like to do it as an asynchronous pre-recorded video because I think it's easier to manage. I have a lot of tips on doing static display modeling and prompts with activities that I'm gonna share in the next video that I make. But for this, I know a lot of people are interested in doing the dynamic display, um, and I'm gonna just use the example of reading a book. So if you're doing that on your computer, you can see I have um, just this Snapcore first up as an example. You can also do your new voice software. You can use chat editor, or I have Lonely Screen, which is what I use to mirror my iPad. It's free and perfect timing. So this just pops up every once in a while to ask you if you wanna subscribe and you can just say maybe later. And it seems like the trial will just continue to be free. So I like that. Now to make these videos, I use the Chrome extension Screencastify. So you can see I have it downloaded in my browser here. When you click on it, you'll get some simple options of how you wanna create your video. Since I have two separate browser windows open, I'm gonna choose to record my whole desktop. I turn my microphone on so my students can hear me and then embed a webcam. When you have your webcam, you can move it around and resize it so that before you start recording, you can get all of your windows set up and resized to how you want. And then um, you'll also pull up your activity. A tip that I heard that I really like is if you are doing books within these videos and there's something you want that's not available on Epic or one of those other sites, it's probably on YouTube, so if you just pause the video, you can use the arrow keys on your keypad to click forward, and it basically turns the page, and then you can read and you can be modeling at the same time. Now, when you're done with your video, you just select Stop Sharing, and then it opens up in another uh, separate browser tab. As you can see, it saves automatically to your drive. And right from this window, you can do some simple editing and you can export it to YouTube. The free version limits you to five minutes. Right now, you can get the professional version for free, I think till the end of June, maybe. However, I think five minutes is probably a good um, maximum for doing an interactive video like that. So I kind of like that it um, keeps me concise. So now we're going to look at some tips for how we can model on the iPad. So the first tip I have for making your modeling a little more salient on the iPad is um, assistive touch. So it's under accessibility in your settings. Go to touch, assistive touch, and you just make sure it's toggled on and you'll get that little square that is your tools. So then when you're in your AAC app, you can select what you want it to do. I think newer iPads have an option that says pointer, which you would want to use. My iPad is older. I didn't have that. So what I did was made a custom touch. So you push that plus button. I just tapped the screen once and said save. This is going to be for my AAC modeling. Now, anytime I touch a button, if that AAC one is selected, that little circle will just follow me. Another idea is in your settings, you can do this on Touch Chat or the Lamp Words for Life app, is scroll all the way down to your button settings and select dwell time. I put mine at 0.7, then that just means you have to hold the button down a little bit longer before it selects. So that gives some visual input for your modeling if your students can't see your fingers. Now, for Proloquo, I found something I liked in the settings access method. If you toggle this on select on release, it gives you this nice red highlight. So again, that's um, to get your students visual attention towards the buttons that you're modeling. Now here's a tip for Snapcore. If you go into settings, user, then access method. If you say touch exit, then done, then same thing that will give you a nice highlight when you're modeling. Well, I hope that covered everything you ever wanted to know about making a video with AAC modeling. If it didn't, if you have other questions, feel free to reach out and we'll figure it out. 